This is a recording of this year's virtual residency fair. We'd like to take the time to thank the programs that volunteered their time to present to this year's applicants. This year's PMNR Scholars Virtual Residency Fair is supported by PMNR Recap and Ultrasound Guidance. PMNR Recap is the leading resource for your physiatry board preparation, clinical preparation, audition rotations, and beyond. PMNR Recap offers 35 hours of review videos, hundreds of review questions, and oral board cases to help you become the best physiatrist that you can be. Head to PMNRRecap.com to learn more. Ultrasound Guidance is the innovative new on online ultrasound learning platform that gives you instant access to expert instruction. With rapid scans and complete scans of every joint and peripheral nerve, Ultrasound Guidance is the perfect way to jumpstart your MSK ultrasound learning. Visit ultrasoundguidance.com to learn more. All right. Uh, good morning. Can you guys hear us? Yes, we can hear you. All right. Dr. Alm, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm going to start uh, sharing the screen here. Yeah, so I'm John Alm. I'm the program director here at KU. Um, I'm excited that we're doing this again. Uh, I think it was a great opportunity last year. I'm excited for us to showcase what we do here at KU. I think we've got a fantastic program. Uh, made a lot of changes kind of moving forward. Really trying to take a very multi-specialty approach to doing our education. Trying to adapt our future physiatrists for the world ahead of them. Um, start adding rotations with orthopedic surgery, neurology, uh, rheumatology, even some plastic surgery and wound care teams, um, but really trying to make sure all those extra facets and skills that potentially a physiatrist could want to have when they go into their career, we're really trying to make sure that you guys have that when you come to KU. Um, I think we'll go through a lot of it. I'll stay on, so if you have any questions, let us know, but otherwise I'll turn it over to Dr. Francio. Thank you, Dr. Ohm. Um, my name is Vinny Francio. I'm academic chief resident here at KU. And uh, it's a great pleasure to be here and participating for the third time with the PMNR Scholars Virtual Residency Fair. I would uh, encourage you guys to scan the QR code. Uh, you'll get access to our website where you can have a lot of this information that we're gonna share today. And also uh, follow our social media with KU underline PMNR. This is our program leadership with Dr. Ohm, our program director, uh, focus on sports and spine, and Dr. Eriks, our associate program director with a certification in brain injury. Hey, Vinny, I think you're not on the presentation mode. Your screen is not showing that. Okay, let's try it again. Can you see the clinical faculty? Yeah, you got it. Is it changing the slides? Yes. All right, very good. So here's a picture of our clinical faculty. We have faculty with uh, pretty much all subspecialties of PMNR, sports, uh, spine, uh, electrodiagnostics, MSK. Uh, we have PNO, we have spasticity. So a pretty broad faculty body that can um, give you opportunity to all areas of PMNR. We are among the first PMNR residency programs in the country. Uh, it's a three-year advanced residency program. We take four residents per class, and we do have uh, PGY-1 available positions with the internal medicine department, sometimes one or two residents, sometimes three, sometimes no residents. But that is that opportunity to do your preliminary year here at KU, as well as your uh, PMNR residency. So let's start with Kansas City. Kansas City is a great location. It's right in the middle of the country, has a affordable cost of living with direct flight access to all major cities. Uh, we have a brand new airport uh, that is going to be, um, that's going to open next year. We have major league sports and we have NCAA champions. Uh, Kansas City is the soccer capital of America coming from Brazil. That's huge for me. And we are also World Cup uh, host city for 2026. We are also have a great food scene with more barbecue restaurants per capita in any other city in the U.S., but we have great food, actually. Just last week, I was in a French restaurant, and it's among the top 10 French restaurants in the country. So uh, KC food scene is pretty, uh, pretty good. Here's a map of our location with direct flight access to all parts of the country and a picture of our skyline downtown here, Kansas City, Missouri. 
We have major sports teams, like I mentioned, from soccer to baseball, football, um, and of course, KU Jayhawks 2022 champions. This is a picture of our residency program with our graduation just uh, less uh, academic year in June. And here's a picture of our main campus, Kansas City KU Medical Center. We have a few other um, look sites that we're going to talk about, but I like this picture a lot because you can kind of have a bird view of the entire campus. Um, if you can see my pointer on the back, you have this glass building that's the Cambridge Tower that we do a lot of our console uh, rotations there, as well as the next building to the right of this, uh, to my right or uh, to the left of that building, uh, which is the Bell Hospital. And right in front, you have Heart Center, which is another hospital, all part of KU Medical System connected, that we do a lot of our uh, uh, console service. In front, this building that is a glass building is the medical school of the nursing school. And right across the street is our KU inpatient rehab unit. This is a picture of our rotation schedule. I wanted to show this to you because this is exactly how it looked like. And I wanna give you a brief uh, overview because it's a lot of information, but during your PGY2 year, you're gonna have six months with the KU inpatient rehab and three main service, including neuro rehab, brain injury, and spinal cord injury. You also have one month with children's, one month with Rehab Hospital of Overland Park. That's a community uh, uh, hospital setting that you are acting as a consulting physician. You are not the primary, you are a consulting PMNR physician. So it's a different view of being a PMNR physician in the community. And then you have four months outpatient, three months at KU and one month at the Kansas City VA. Then your PGY3 and PGY4 year, it's spread apart in different um, rotations in different sites with less um, inpatient time compared to your PGY2 year. We have a lot of flexibility with your PGY4 schedule to pursue electives or particular areas of your interest as you uh, get ready for fellowship or for practice. And we have a great mix inpatient and outpatient exposure during your PGY2 year that you can get an exposure of all areas of PMNR to help you decide where to go um, if you have any particular interest. Just a few highlights for our rotations here. With inpatient exposure, like I mentioned, you're gonna do eight months as a PGY2. You're gonna be doing that at inpatient rehab KU, Children's Mercy Hospital and the rehab hospital of Overland Park that you'll be acting as a consulting phys PMNR physician. And then you have five or six months as a PGY3 and PGY4 spread along those two, uh, two years. And you have a well-rounded exposure to all areas of PMNR, from neuro rehab to TBI, SEI, burns, medically complex, amputee, trauma, transplants, etc. So you have a great exposure to become a very competent and well-rounded PMNR physician in the inpatient arena. Our consult service, we do one month as a PGY3 and two months as a PGY4, and we uh, rotate in three different uh, hospitals, not rotate in three different hospitals, but we see patients in three different hospitals within the KU medical system. They are all connected, um, like you can see here in the picture. KU is a 900 plus bed uh, hospital, and we have uh, the console service for inpatient rehab, post acute care needs, amputee care, spasticity, evaluation of brain injury, spinal cord injury, um, etc. So it's a pretty robust exposure of uh, uh, being a rehab consultant as well. Regarding our outpatient exposure, here at KU, we have three main rotations. KU spine, which you do a mix of spine procedures, spine clinic, orthopedic surgery spine clinic. KU sports and MSK, which you do a mix of sports clinic, ultrasound guided procedures, rheumatology, wound care, uh, orthopedic sports clinic, occasionally some field coverage. Um, you have the opportunity to go to Arrowhead Stadium Sports Medicine Center, where they have the Kansas City Chiefs and Royal Stadium there. And then we have the KU General Rehab outpatient rotation with, with a mix of neurology, cancer rehab, PO, spasticity, um, general rehab, TBI, neurosurgery, burn, uh, and wound care with plastic surgery. So it's a very uh, diverse rotation with exposure to all areas 
of uh, what entails to be a PMNR physician. We do rotate at the Kansas City VA and we have three rotations there. We have a neurology clinic rotation. We work with neurology, psych and internal medicine residents there. Uh, we have a dedicated EMG rotation with PMNR physicians and we have a general outpatient rehab uh, rotation with the KCVA that we do a mix of brain injury, amputee, spine procedures, spasticity management, and uh, joint injections, including PRP. And we do a lot of PRP. So if you're interested in regenerative medicine, we get a lot of that exposure, both at KU as well as uh, at the VA. We also have the opportunity to do a rotation at the Eastern Kansas VA in Leavenworth. It's about 30 to 40 minutes away. We do two, rotate, two months as a PGY3 and one month as a PGY4. And it's another exposure that is very diverse in kind of covering all areas of outpatient rehab from um, brain injury, spinal cord injury to electrodiagnostics and uh, MSK. And like I mentioned, we do our outpatient rotation with Children's Mercy Hospital here in Kansas City, and they do have a rehab, kids rehab fellowship uh, with a broad exposure to all aspects of PMNR. Elective time, we have two weeks of elective available each year that we usually complete those during the outpatient KU rotation. And again, a lot of PGY4 year flexibility to pursue your uh, particular interests. And some of the rotations that people um, look for are palliative care, sports, wound care, research, EMG, and anesthesia pain. In terms of procedure exposure, we don't have any issues uh, reaching our numbers. Uh, most uh, residents who graduate with more than 250 nerve conduction studies, a lot of Botox injections, ultrasound-guided procedures, uh, baclofen reprogramming, uh, interventional spine procedures, anything from bread and butter epidural injections to stem trials, uh, peripheral joint injections with and without ultrasound trigger point, burst injections, like I said, PRP injections, and we also do some of uh, some unique procedures with uh, like 10x. Uh, Iovera or cryoablation with Dr. Siegel, one of our MSK clinicians, Dr. Om and Dr. Smith as well, um, which is a very unique, th those are some of the unique procedures that we do in the MSK clinic. Our call schedule, uh, we do call seven uh, for, for the entire week. Uh, during the call, you are responsible to cover the 29 patients or 30 patients in our inpatient unit on Saturday and Sunday for the weekend. Uh, so basically, you go to the unit with your attending. Uh, most of the time, the attending will be completing the notes and you'll be leading the rounds with your agent P and kind of discussing any changes in plan. And then you see some consults over the weekend. Average, I would say, four to five, four to six. Some days, no consults at all. Uh, some days, you do a little bit more like seven or eight. Um, you start on a Friday night, 5 p.m., and you go until the next Friday, 8 a.m., during that week at night, you are basically answering pages from nurses from the inpatient rehab unit and then answering some outpatient calls from, you know, refill on medications or some procedure or uh, some questions about procedures that the patient had during the week. Uh, PGY2s, we had about seven weeks of call. PGY3s will have five weeks of call and PGY4s will have usually about three weeks of call, including one buddy call. In terms of research, KU is ranked among the top 10 uh, NIH-funded programs in the country. We do have a requirement for residency to complete uh, a scholarly project that could be manuscript, poster, case report, or quality improvement, and the department will sponsor a trip to national meetings if you are a first author. We do have a longitudinal three-year research track which is a great opportunity to get involved in clinical research. You get half day protected for research time during your outpatient rotations with KU and you apply that for that position when you're starting your PGY-1. Our didactics, uh, it's a traditional didactic schedule, 12 month block, protected time from every Thursday morning from 7.30 to 8 a.m. until noon. We cover all the basics of PMNR to prepare you well for boards. We do virtual lectures, site, on-site lectures at KU. Uh, we do anatomy labs, site visits, procedure labs, and we do mock oral boards, skill labs. So a bunch of different things that we do for our didactics. Our benefits are available online on our website. 
We have basic benefits like most residency programs, anything from conference days to a book fund, vacation, free parking, health insurance, $100 a month, I believe, food allowance, uh, white coat, jacket, polo, and all those other things. We focus on being involved in academic physiatry. Uh, we have our faculty and residents going to national meetings. Uh, and here are some of the uh, mo our most recent presentations. Uh, we go to physiatry meetings, pain meetings, sports meetings, cancer meetings, uh, and also all areas of subspecialties of PMNR present posters and as well as do uh, session presentations. We also get our residents and faculty involved in high school coverage. We go to different site visits. In this picture, we went to a wheelchair uh, company. So we learn about different wheelchairs. So we recently went to hanger clinic and did uh, prosthetic and orthotics uh, and many other uh, uh, educational activities outside uh, um, you know, KU and outside uh, what you'd expect uh, to be traditional. Uh, we do a lot of activities with the residents, kind of go out for resident retreat, go bowling, top golf, uh, you know, soccer uh, games and things like that. We that we do uh, when residents get along, get together, uh, or with faculty. So we're a pretty good group, and we get along really well, and uh, we have a lot of fun. Kansas City is a great city to just explore a uh, bunch of different opportunities from sports to food to music scene as well. In terms of alumni achievement. Why? Thank you. In terms of alumni, alumni achievement, uh, we have a 100% pass rate and our uh, residents uh, go to both private practice as well as academics, uh, ACGME pain fellowship, spine MSK, NAS fellowship, sports, speeds, cancer, anywhere in the country from staying here in Kansas City to going to Utah, Michigan, New York, uh, Vanderbilt, uh, Pittsburgh, and all other areas of the country. Here at KU, we have fellowship opportunities with uh, our NAS Spine MSK, PEDS Rehab and Cancer Rehab within our department. And then in different departments at KU, we have pain, palliative care, neuromuscular, and sports medicine. Finally, this is our last slide here, and then we're going to open up for questions. Um, I would like to invite all of you for uh, two of our upcoming virtual open houses. You can follow our um, Instagram and, and social media profile, KU uh, underline PMNR, but you can also, the best way to sign up for our open houses is to scan the QR code here. We'll take you to a form that you can complete with your name, uh, your location and your email, and then you're gonna get the two different Zoom links for this uh, open houses. That we, It's gonna be about an hour that we can kind of get to know you. Uh, you can know us and we can kind of just chat about this Kansas City and, uh, uh, and about our program. We have our website here. If you wanna get further information as well as our general program coordinator web uh, email and my personal email is there as well if you have any questions. With that, I will uh, allow you guys to scan this barcode here. And um, we have Dr. Om, Dr. Yoon and Dr. Uh, Mayan available here to answer questions that you have. Uh, so you can either I guess uh, just ask on the chat box and uh, we'll find those answers for you. So thank you for your time and thank you PMNR scholars. So I guess the first question here that we have is, uh, can get residents get involved with KU Athletics? Dr. Alma, I'm gonna put that to you. Yeah, so right now uh, we haven't had that because so I'm the one who does uh, sports coverage and training room with the teams. Um, so we're kind of passing that through the approval channels, but my goal is, is that I would have residents that would come out for training room with me when I go out as well as doing sideline coverage here in the near future. So I think it's gonna happen. I'm working on it hard because I think it's a great opportunity. So I think hopefully within a year, that's gonna be a yes. Thank you. Yeah. We have any other questions?
If not, thank you everybody for joining us and letting us present. Um, we'll have an intimate discussion if you guys want to join us for our virtual affairs uh, coming up um, on September 13th and October 18th. Um, if need be, you know, I know sometimes we want to ask a lot of questions. We can certainly try to do some breakout rooms, but, you know, again, it would be a better environment, I think, just to have a lot of those questions answered. So please join us. That's what we want to do. We want to showcase what we do at KU. We think we do a great job. I think we do a fantastic job. So look us up, hit us up, and we'll see you then.